Hello beauties. I hope you guys enjoy this content that I'm going to bring in today. I am bringing how to do the ultimate glamorous makeup look, which you guys are going to be so fun of and you're going to be so confident and I'm going to show you guys how to do it the right way. Hello beauties. Welcome back to my channel, Modest Transformation by Celeste. In today's video, we are going to be doing the ultimate glamorous makeup look where it's flawless, you're going to have heads turning looking at you and I'm going to ask you what kind of makeup you're wearing or is that your skin tone or you know that's your skin so I'm going to show you guys how to have the ultimate glamorous makeup look ever so stay tuned and but before you go we dive deep into the video don't forget to please like share and subscribe to my youtube channel and we're going to get into the video and um, let's get into it Okay, beauties, in today's video, I'm going to use two of my favorite makeup palettes by I Envy. And one is the Nude Me and one is the Rainbow. So one is more of a natural tone, one is more like the spring and summer color vibes. So we're going to use both in this video. I'm going to take my Nude Me um, eyeshadow palette and I'm going to use... Um, I'm trying to see how I'm going to do it. I'm going to use this color. It's called Love Bite. So it's like a lighter tone of brown. So I'm just going to just blend it all over my eyeshadow, uh, my eyelids, I'm sorry. And to help it contrast more into the color that I want to achieve with this glamorous look. Okay. And I'm going to use this brown, which is called Hard. And I'm going to blend it on the outer side of my eye. So it's kind of, I always see my eye shape like a football, so it kind of helps me um, put how I want my eyeshadow to be, if that makes sense. So, you know, they call it the cut crease. So I'm just applying that brown. And I'm going to use, um, in my other palette, I'm going to use the rainbow. And I'm going to be using... Um, I'm going to do the color green. Or should I do orange? Hmm. I'm going to do green. I'm going to use this green here. Because I'm wearing green today. Um, I know it's, I don't think it's, it's not St. Patrick's Day for sure. But I wanted to do this eyeshadow look because I feel like I said maybe if I do this differently. Because I always like the greens and the golds that look better for, on me. So I just do that. So I'm just applying the light green, which is called uh, Peace. And guys, if you haven't already, I will go ahead and place an order with IMVUS.com, which um, you receive this eyeshadow palette. Because this is the best eyeshadow palette I have ever had. The colors goes on very perfectly. And this white is called Pure. I'm going to use this white. I'm going to put that in the inner corner of my eye. This makeup palette I love the most because the colors um, actually show. It blends in very well with my skin tone. I'm going to go ahead and dry my eyeliner, uh, wing liner. Out, and then I'm drawing it back inward. So I'm not going to make it perfect. I'm going to use my setting spray and I'm going to apply that on this side of my face. Let it dry a little bit. And I'm going to use two of my favorite concealers that are affordable. The Nikkei, which is $2.99 and then this one, the 2 in one is $7.99. So, I'm going to apply this one. This one is 03. This one is called Tan by Nika K. I'm going to apply it here in the inner corner of my eye. 
so you guys can see. And then I'm going to take my Mocha by Absolute New York and I'm going to apply a little. You don't have to use a lot of concealer. I like this bit. I like this one because they have the brush. I like both of them. So I'm just applying that. And I'm going to apply a little here on my cheeks. I'm just going to put two. I know last time I did four, but I'm going to do two. I'm just going to see what's going to be the difference this time. And I'm going to let that sit a little bit. And I'm going to do the opposite side of my eye, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have applied my eyeshadow and concealer, to, so both sides are done. So you guys did see one side how I did it, and I did it the opposite on here. So I'm going to go ahead and use my brush. I don't know the name of this brush. They don't have the name on it. But I'm going to use this brush here, and I'm going to go ahead and blend my concealer out. So I'm going to start at the bottom around my lip area. So I'm just easily patting, so you don't have to do this. That's wrong. It's like you're going to tear your skin off. Just easily pat because you want it to blend in naturally and just let it sit for like five minutes. And this is the cheek area here. So you have your dark and your light. And I'm just blending it all the way down. If that makes sense. So if you guys can see. And I'm going to go ahead and go in the inner corner of my eye and I'm going to blend it out. And I'm going to blend it all the way to the wing of my eye. And you see you get a flawless look, a glamorous look at that and then that's it. You just blend it out. And you don't need that much concealer nor foundation. And just make sure you get it uh, really good under your eye because sometimes it'll be some left over. So that's all you do when you're just blending that out. And we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to go back in with my brush. I'm going to blend around my lip area once again. And I forgot to put some on my cheek here, so I'm going to do that so you guys can see. I'm going to let it sit, but I'm just going to go around the eye part under my eye. So I put the medium, and then I'm going to put the light. Some people put the light, then the medium, but you know, it depends on how you want to do it. So I can't speak for everyone. And I'm going to go back in. I'm going to use this brush again, but I'm going to go around the inner corner of my eye and blend out that concealer and I'm going to go around here on the wing eye so I can look very perfect have that glamour look and I'm just blending it out really good so you guys can see okay I see the look so with your concealers you always need like a medium close color I mean shade to your skin tone and then you can do one that's a little bit lighter blend those two colors together and you get the flawless look so it also depends on your skin tone as well so um, I let that sit and always use your setting spray so I'm just gonna come down. let that sit Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and blend it out for you guys. And that's it. And you see how it blent in with my skin tone that quick? The glamour look. Last thing but not least is you can use your setting powder and I have my little little triangle sponge and a clean brush. So this one helps to remove like the oil 
if you have a lot of shine because most of concealers have a shine to it so I'm going to use a little bit of this especially under my eyes it just helps set your eyes and then put some here because you don't want your you look so shiny and everything because it's the point of not knowing you have makeup on so I'm just applying it here And that's it. And I think here. And it's also helping if you wear a lot of masks. And um, the makeup won't get into your mask. So I'm just going ahead and wipe that off with this clean brush. Like sweeping it away. You get the shine off and I'm just making sure and that's it you just remove the excess of the shine off just with setting powder and that's it and here's the final results Well, there you have it, the ultimate glamorous makeup tutorial. I hope you guys did enjoy my content. I really wanted to just bring something fulfilling and self-confidence for all of my transformation family. Um, we always want to look very nice and very comfortable in our skin. And I felt like with this glamorous makeup look, you will do that. And you guys will just have fun and with affordable makeup. So if you guys haven't already, subscribe. Bye.